I'm Dan Sheldon, and in this next video, I'm gonna teach you all of my resistance band exercises to build muscle endurance and explosive strength, all while training functional movements. Push exercises work the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Square stance, two arm push. Get in a balanced stance with your weight slightly forward and push with two arms in a controlled fluid movement. You can also change it up by doing single arm alternating pushes. Lunge stance increases the difficulty of the exercise and it also helps keep your core solid and improve balance. Make sure to alternate lunge legs with each set. You can also increase the difficulty again by doing them one leg. This will really force you to stay strong in the core and build your balance. Again, make sure to switch legs with each set and try to keep your pushes controlled and through the full range of motion. To do low to high pushes, position the anchor of the band lower and push up towards the sky. This works more of the upper chest and shoulder connector muscles. High to low is the opposite. Move the anchor of the band up high and push down towards the ground. This focuses more on the lower part of those chest muscles. Pulls are pretty much the opposite of pushes. Pulls work the back and bicep muscles. Everything we did in a push we are going to do in a pull. This helps to create a balance in our upper body. Make sure to pull that band all the way to your chest to get that full range of motion. Increase the difficulty by trying these pulls in a lunge stance. This activates both the core and leg muscles during the exercise. Keep the movements slow and fluid. As you get better, you can increase the speed of your movements. In every one of these exercises, you can also do single alternating arms. In order to do one leg pulls, you have to keep your core tight so you don't lose balance. Make sure that toe doesn't go past your knee and keep those shoulders back. Low to high pulls puts a greater focus on the upper back and trap muscles. High to low pulls shifts the focus to the mid and lower back muscles. Lastly, we have seated rows. Sit on the ground and pull the band just like you are rowing a boat. This works a combination of both the lower and upper back muscles. Arm band exercises isolate the individual muscles in the arms. To do the shoulder press, stand on the band and push upwards towards the sky. Make sure to bring your hands all the way down to your shoulders to get that full range of motion. Three-way flies isolate the front, side, and back parts of your shoulder. To work the front muscle of your shoulder, lift the band up to your chin with your hands close together. To work the side muscles in your shoulder, spread your arms out wide and lift them towards your ears. To work the rear muscles of your shoulder, bend over at the waist and swing your arms up towards the sky. Curls isolate the bicep muscles. Stay standing on the band, keep your elbows at your sides and curl up towards your chest. Fully extend your arm to work that full range of motion. You can also do single arm alternating curls to focus more of the outer part of the bicep or wide curls to work more of the inner bicep muscle. Overhead extensions isolate the tricep muscles. Start with the band handles behind your head and push upwards towards the sky. Try to push to get that full arm extension. Bent over extensions are an alternate way to isolate the tricep muscles. Bend over at the waist, keeping your elbows at your side and push the band backwards. This works more the upper tricep. Chops are a great functional core workout. Side to side chops. Keep your feet and hips straight and twist at the waist. This is a great exercise to functionally train the obliques. Make sure to turn around and work both sides. High to low chops. Position the anchor of the band up high and chop down between your legs. Remember to keep those arms straight and those hips still. Low to high chops. Position the anchor of the band down low and chop up over your head. Again, keep those arms straight and those hips still. This exercise focuses more on those upper abs. Low to high diagonal chops. This is a great exercise for bringing all of those core muscles together. Remember to twist at the waist in a low to high motion. High to low diagonal chops. Pull and twist that band from a high to low position, finishing with your hands over your knee. Don't forget to work both sides to keep that core balanced. 
Resistance bands are a great way to start adding strength to your lower body. Squats. Step on the band and put your arms up by your shoulders with the band behind you. As soon as you come up, you should feel the resistance working against you. These are great for building strength beyond your body weight. Forward lunges. Step forward, lunge, and then push off your heel to explode back to that starting position. This time the band resistance helps to both resist and assist in your lunge. Reverse lunges. Step backwards into a lunge and then drive your back knee up to your chest. Again, the band will help to resist and assist in this exercise. Kickbacks. You will need to use the ankle strap for this exercise. Keep a straight leg and kick back against the resistance of the band. This works the glutes and hamstrings together. Side kicks. After you do kickbacks, turn sideways and sweep your leg outwards to work the outer hips. Make sure to do both exercises with each leg. Hamstring curls. Lie prone on the ground and curl your heel back towards your butt. Try to keep your hips flat on the ground during this exercise. Supine knee to chest. Lie flat on your back in a supine position. Strap the band around the middle of your foot and drive your knee up to your chest. Make sure to keep your toe pointed up and your leg at a 90 degree angle. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and start checking out all of my other training videos so you can start to invest in your athletic success.